hair dye is a combination of hair color and peroxide. When color is applied to the hair, the peroxide is what opens up the shafts in the hair, allowing the dye to soak in. Cosmetology professor Deborah Peterson says that the level of peroxide is what creates the most damage. Depending on the level of color that you're going with, probably a, a 10 or 20. The higher up you go, um, the more damage you're going to have um, to the hair. Constantly dyeing your hair can also cause dryness and breakage. Facebooker Kathy Casey writes, dries it out some, but I wouldn't think so. Maybe if you do it all the time. After dyeing your hair, you want to make sure you purchase the right color treatment products that will extend the life of your color and also protect your hair from damaging using something like a leave-in conditioner. Even if you use the right products to treat your hair, applying the dye correctly is what's key. Michelle Hendrickson, a salon owner, says the most common mistake made is doing it yourself with box dyes and not doing it the right way. So what is the right way to re-dye your hair? When you have regrowth from the scalp, you have to be very careful to only apply the color to the regrowth area and let that process generally for 20 to 30 minutes and then you need to uh, go back through and apply the color to the ends just to refresh the color.